Hello from Jeff's Little Engine Service. Pretty cold out here this morning, but we're going to go ahead and stay at it. Uh, today we have a snapper that is not priming well. And uh, upon further investigation, uh, oh, it's a Briggs & Stratton 5 horsepower engine, by the way. Very common Briggs & Stratton design that is having trouble starting. Once it starts up, it runs pretty good, but cold starts are a problem. Very common um, primer bulb design, but I'll show you what I found. So yeah, check this out. See that crack? That's what I noticed. So, well actually I first noticed it when I was just pushing the button. It felt really squishy, a lot softer than it should. And then I noticed that crack. So let's go ahead and replace this. And you know, I really don't know the best way to do this, but the way I do it, it works. So we're going to do it that way. Anyways, you see that white tab back in there? Um, there's a white tab there and underneath. And the lower tab is right there. And the idea is to get something up in there like I'll use this tool, it's just a pair of pliers that are bent and I'll push up there while I'm pushing down on that tab with a screwdriver like such. I'll do that at the same time and then I'll just pull on that primer bulb and it should come out. So I'm just going to try to stick a skinny screwdriver down into this top tab, push it down and try to work it forward a little bit. Um, I might be able to push it down and pull here. You have to come in from the bottom too. So it can be kind of tricky getting these out. Uh, sometimes if you can get to the tabs, you can push the tabs down at the same time and pull on the primer bulb and everything comes out together. Um, but I think the easiest way to do it, <clears throat> this primer bulb is shot. So I'm just going to yank it out of here and we'll be able to see that lock ring back in there and hopefully be able to pull it out. some more of this primer bulb out of here. All right, now I can start to see that white ring back in there. And let me zoom in. I'm able to push up on that tab. There we go come in from the top as well, push that tab in, there we go, and you just kind of work it loose that way, it's a lot easier to install than to take out. And you kind of work your screwdriver back in there and eventually you can work it free. Might be able to pull it out now. There we go. And you see that's what that ring looks like. To put it back in, you basically just put the primer bulb on it and push it back into place until the tabs uh, snap into place. I'll show you how I do that. So I didn't have a new primer bulb in stock. Um, but I do have a used one here that's in good shape. So don't hold it against me. I'm going to put this used one in. And I'm going to show you how it goes into the clip here. Um, you can see, hopefully you can see one, one side of the clip is flat and the other side kind of has a recess. And that's where you want to plug the bulb down into and make sure that you seat it down in there 
like so and then you just push it back into place and you want to be careful um, when you're pushing it back into place sometimes you have to stick a screwdriver and push on the plastic if you do that you want to make sure that you do not um, tear a hole in the primer bolt because that's real easy to do I'm also going to clean out the hole here as you can see it's pretty dirty And back into place. Once again, you want to make sure you line these tabs up uh, directly up and down. And a couple of screwdrivers here. You can kind of push it into place, but remember, be careful not to poke the rubber. go sometimes you have to rotate the clip around a little bit just to make sure it gets lined up everything's good we're in now we have a functioning primer bulb again let's check and see if this primer bulb is working and what you want to do is take off the air filter cover and you can take a peek inside the carburetor and you can tell if the primer bulb is working. It's a 5 /16th. You can also use a flathead screwdriver to take this off. Okay, and just so you can see, I'm gonna bend this tab out for now. Don't tell anybody. Okay, so I wanna show you something inside this carburetor here. I bent that little tab out just so we could see inside the carburetor. Now see that first little brass nozzle right there? That is where when you push the primer bulb you get a little bit of fuel that comes out. So I'm going to go ahead and push the primer bulb and we'll see if anything comes out. One, two, three. Yep, we're good. That is a functioning primer bulb. Bend this back into shape, put the air filter on, and I bet you this thing will fire up now. 